Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. So, this is the image of today's case. First, go through it and come to your own diagnosis. Then, we will continue with the case discussion. Welcome back everyone. This is case number 20 of RS series in radiology. Today our patient is a 52 year old male patient who is a heavy smoker and uh, presented with shortness of breath and hemoptysis. So this is the frontal chest radiograph of skeletal mature male patient actually of this patient. So you can see a lesion here. It's a well defined rounded opacity with lobulated outline projected over the left mid zone and uh, the medial border is obscured due to hard border other margins are clearly seen and it's a solitary pulmonary nodule solitary pulmonary nodule and uh, there are no air bronchial formation it's more homogeneous mass no air fluid level no bs calcification no cavity formation underlying bones appear normal no lytic or sclerotic lesions and uh, no synchronous lesions as well in the lungs no pleural effusions no pneumothorax so diaphragm contour normal no cardiomegaly Trachea is central. Can't see any mediastinal widening, no hylomasses, obviously. And so, so differential diagnosis for solitary refinement nodule we have to think of. But in this case, the diagnosis is lung CA, lung carcinoma. Because uh, this one has a lobulated outline, so it's a significant finding in this x ray. To locate the lesion, you have to do a left lateral chest radiograph. Then you can see the exact position of the lesion or which lobe it is in and calcification of the lesion. Uh, differential diagnosis for solitary pulmonary nodule. One is uh, hematoma. In hematoma, there are popcorn calcifications. The other one is. Uh, Solitary mets, solitary metastasis. In children, you will get uh, round pneumonia. And, uh, and also you have to think of uh, insisted diffusion. This round pneumonia and intestinal diffusion can disappear a few weeks after treatment, so we call them vanishing tumors. Vanishing tumors. So those are few differential diagnoses for uh, solitary pulmonary nodule. There are so many differential diagnoses. Uh, out of those, these are common ones, and you can get uh, intrapulmonary bronchogenic cyst. So that concludes uh, case number 20 of RS series in radiology. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel. They will, then you will get notifications of our new videos. And also you can comment on our videos. Thank you everyone. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this.